Okay. So I don't know if you've ever had a situation where you hit your toe, either the sneakers were too tight or there was a little space and you ran or played and you developed a hematoma and then you can't walk. Well, it has happened to me. Um, it can happen also just from uh, dropping a weight on your toe. Well, in this case, this was from sneakers. I was playing basketball. The good news is that we won, me and my son against uh, uh, older kids that were tall and uh, were playing basketball. So what I did is I taped it so that it will not put uh, constant um, pressure against my finger as, as, it, as the hematoma uh, expands. But now, um, it's been already perhaps too long, but we'll, I was never having time for myself. And it so happens, ouch, that I have a little time now. So I'm going to try and show you what you can do. No wonder the Chinese used to torture people by pulling their nails. Well, now what you can see, you can see the bruise. If you look with the light carefully, there's also a hematoma from the base. So this is an old, the black, the red is new, and you can see everything here is inflamed. So the, the hematoma is because the, the nail is being pressed against the skin and it bruises and it lifts it up. And so what you, you would do is you would, it's stuck, you would put a little hole in it. And just like if you have, God forbid, uh, subdural hematoma, which is a bruise inside your head, there is nowhere for it to expand. So here you have a little bit of skin, it can push off, but that's where it hurts if you press here. So when you have that, what you have to do is you have to drill holes in the head, even if it's not sterile. There have been surgeries like that reported from uh, the time of the mummies of the pyramids in Egypt. They did uh, brain surgery uh, in Israel as well from that time. Uh, 1500 BC, even beforehand. So, you need to relieve the pressure. We're going to try and relieve the pressure right now, except because of the glue, that it'll be hard to remove the nail. So let's see if there is any blood underneath the nail. And I don't see it much, but you can see the line that is a horizontal line going in here. It's called the Bose line, that's from trauma. And you can see it's a little bluish on the base and a little red around, that's from the bruise and the inflammation. Yeah, all right, let's, let's do this. So what I did is I marked the extent of the bruise. You can see the bruise goes in here, it goes up there. And the white part, you can't see it here, but the white part under the bruise is the lunula. You can see it here, that's the lunula, that's a nail matrix. Ideally, you don't want to go through that. And now this is the two millimeter punch pipe. So we're just going to make a small little hole. It will grow out with it. And through that hole, we will hopefully get the nail out. It's not easy to get the nail out, especially because I had some glue in here. So it's all stuck together. But we are going to try. So let's get it out. And that's it. You can walk like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> It's like cutting your hair for now until I get to the bottom. I'll feel nothing. <laughs> yeah, have you done it before? That's okay. I'm Join the club. Here. Okay. You said it's the same. Yeah, you, you said, said it's the same. same. <laughs> I have a license. <laughs> so you can see this is uh, went deeper. And here's the, the stuff, it's coming no, out. This is what it's supposed to be, so now it's going to get better. <laughs> no, you have to press it so that it all comes out. This is the, the, the organized blood, so now it's going to feel much better. You can see the color. You see the color looks better now? It was, do you see, do you remember it was all dark? And now it's coming out. This was, you see, this one was an old bruise. And this was a new. And this is what happens with the brain. So it still was actively bleeding. Don't, don't push too hard on the nail. It's already weak. Oh my god. Oh my god. Doctor. I'm gonna faint. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, it actually is nice. Oh, 
You kidding? It feels so much better. You look at this with your it feels so much better. And you see now you can actually see the lunula. Look look at the lunula. You see the white of the lunula. And it was right above it, right this little. Okay. Unbelievable, right? Mm -hmm. Here, press a little here and see. Oh, you see now I press here, it doesn't hurt anymore. I love it. All right, so now let's stop the bleeding. By, well, is there still anything inside? So this is our first brain surgery. Monica, now we can do, now we can do uh, the brain surgery. <laughs> Emergency brain surgery. Look at this, it looks nice and clean. You should do another hole on the side. This way it looks like a face, two eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Monica. How does it feel, Doctor Monica? <laughs> good. If you feel good, it feels Actually, good. Actually, it's as much better. You know what? It's day and night feeling. It's day and night feeling. I really didn't expect it to feel as good. After so anyway, this is the first time that I've done it, and also first time for Monica. And uh, that's it. This is all bruises I said, and you can see where I drew, and it's got much better.